Hey guys, welcome back to Max Payne 3. Holy cow, this story has taken a crazy huge turn of events. So on the last episode, we just kind of found out, not completely confirmed, but after seeing, you know, our boss's wife get murdered and then him get murdered, we're now starting to find out from this individual guy who just randomly came out of nowhere on the last episode, which according to him, he was in the academy with Max Payne. This guy is pretty much telling us that it was all a setup by Rodrigo's brother. So Max Payne, according to him, was pretty much recruited just so he can kind of get blackmailed or just kind of tricked into him being the killer of his boss. That's why the whole shootout happened. That's why they had access to the building and the security wasn't working and everybody died. Now I really want to know how this ends. A lot of you have been telling me that the story ends pretty crazy. So now I'm even more intrigued. We're almost at the end anyways. Chapter 11. Now we're in Panama. Panama had been my second job with Passos. Hey, Max. Max. Come on. So this guy First, turned out to be an asshole. Money for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. This seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was half cut. Nothing like doing some good blows, some good friends on a boat. Daphne! Ah, come here, I love this one. Oh, Marcello, you're going to be Marcello. Afredo, Marcello. I actually thought Marcello was going to end up being a douchebag, but... Some ways. He was the best one out of the brothers. Come on, he's awesome. Until he got burned alive. Yeah. Everybody's drunk and tanned and listening to house music. Most of them have plastic surgery and they're all doing blow. <laughs> I guess it is kind of like Jersey, huh? <laughs> That's very funny, Max. Hey, hey soldier. Oh. Oh, I gotta quit drinking so much. I'll give myself serious liver damage. Hey, big deal. You can always get a new one. Relax. I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kidding, I hope you are. <laughs> Just stay off the ale, hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again! <laughs> oh, Mikey. Even though we just met, I feel like we are good friends, you know? Mm. I feel like safe with you guys. You know that, like real safe. That's great. Yeah, and I love New York. Uh, the East Hamptons, do you know it? Uh, not really. I, I spent my honeymoon in Montauk. Oh, where's that? It's just down the road. Whatever. Last time I was there, I got so wasted, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. No, not good. Bad. Real bad. Oh, my good God. Because now, I can get you laid a lot. <laughs> it is great to be single, hey? I love her. Um. She's with another, and she doesn't want to know it. Fucker. I mean, could you believe that shit? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to uh, go to speak to Felipe. Felipe! You crazy crackhead! Lay off the yayo, eh? Passos. Walk with me. Yeah. Yeah. What's the deal with this guy, eh? He's kind of stuck up. He's a good guy. Yeah, sure, <laughs> ta bon, ta bon, but have him smile a bit more, you know? Because life, life is good! <laughs> ah! Where's the truck? It's coming. Hey, soon. Soon. Uh, so, yeah. I gotta go lay down. Okay. <laughs> I would say he's a party pooer, but I mean, his wife, shit, you know, they're, I mean, this guy's life sucks, so. Oh my god. Just like every other Max Payne scenario, nothing good ever happens after like a good 10 minutes. Something always ends up turning around and obviously for the worst. So I'll just sit here and expect the worst any minute now. 95% of this game, Max, Payne, Max Payne's been drunk to shit.
the hell's going on? Now I can understand them. I can understand their language now. One thing at a time, Max. Okay, hold on. I cannot. Oh shit! How can I go for the note? I gotta kill these guys off first. Bro, what weapon is this? Oh, this is like a like an auto semi-auto. Whoa, what is that? An auto nine millimeter? Ooh. All right, can I inspect the weapons so I don't have to come back here? Damn it. Oh, that's some good music. Background music is nice. Got myself the gold. The gold little stent right here. Oh, I like this music in the backdrop. Ooh. All right, let's go back for the note and see what we got there. The dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. All right, nothing here. Let's get the note. This was where Marcelo was supposed to be sleeping. He'd barely come down to this deck. Oh... Really? So this is his note. Asso's had the name of the bar where I was drinking my life away. I should have put things together then, instead of waiting for De Silva to walk me through it real slow. Huh. Alright, let's keep on moving. This is a fucking cruise in itself. The radio. Maybe I could send out an SOS. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover long after a party had turned sour. Look, I know I'm playing this on computer, man, but this game for being eight years old or so, it looks freaking great, man. The need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. Time to think, did I? The fire was Oops. sucking oxygen through the room. I didn't care if I got shot the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake up whiskey after a two day bender. Okay, we shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Max. Oh, shit. All right, so how many of these do we have to shut off? I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. Okay. Well, we got two more. There. Oh, it's only two. Breathe again. Okay. Now the boat can get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. Narrating in this game, bro. It's borderline pissing me off. Oh. Oh! 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 <laughs> Yo, you gotta admit, that was a dope sequence. Sorry, like, oh, holy sh. So, this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out and I wouldn't have noticed. 
While I'd been dead to the world, some of my shipmates were just plain dead. Where had they taken them? Now, obviously, this part of the story is going to explain to us a little bit more of what's really going on. And so, do we go... Oh, here we go. Dude, this is a fucking yacht. Bro. It was a different scene than the one I'd stumbled away from. Where was everyone? I still didn't know what the hell happened. It's like he woke up in a different world. <laughs> Somebody's dead here. The guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this oh. was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. Big old save of money. I don't understand how whenever I go behind them, they can still see me. I don't get that. It's like I can never sneak up behind them. I feel like this game needs a couple of things like grenades and the ability to be able to sneak up on people a little bit easier whatever they were looking for appeared to be gone i mean i know it's it's an action game you know but i feel like it, it would have added a little bit to the element of the just the whole gameplay experience if you will the music on this level though is on point i like this i guess some more painkillers around here Daphne Bernstein, a recent divorcee, making the most of her considerable settlement, and Marcella was making the most of her. I didn't... I don't want to think about it. This dude's just banging all the chicks. <laughs> Daphne's ship was always stocked. Miguel, vení para acá! Bro. Oh, this is cool, bro. The game feels slightly different now. It feels like firing these guys other than good old fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for? Like I'm, in, I'm in some sort of like kingpin, fucking mansion it or didn't something. Make sense. Why would they leave the jewels and rip open the walls? It didn't occur to me just what the other cargo on board could be. All right, let's keep on going up. Oh, shit. Was that an oh. old? <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Oh. More of you? It's so much better now because I can understand their Spanish. Alright, this is where we were with uh with Max earlier. Hide, hide, hide. I was on a ghost ship in a ghost canal. The whole thing creeped me the hell out. Yeah, this is weird, man. I want to know what, what was really going on here. What actually happened? Within like the last probably hour and a half that we were sleeping. Okay. All right, we got they some meds right here. My sea legs, but they sure as shit felt good. Oh man. Oh no, Max. No. Oh, freaking hell, Max. Oh. 
All right, so we clear that out. Oh shit! There it goes. I was waiting for that. I wonder if it's possible to do this game without like taking any damage. I, I think like it's probably gonna be impossible to do that. This feels like I'm always getting shot. Nice. That blind fire is sick. Maybe there was something on the bridge. I checked every other inch of the boat. I spotted Passos and Marcelo. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it. It didn't seem quite so kosher. What about what's her name? Daphne. Uh, do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. See, I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. We're here. Bro, what is going on? Building, get across the canal. Fuck them, dude. Damn, Max Payne had no idea. Oh, I like the music. I got. There was some equipment in the truck next to me. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. <laughs> That's the game telling me. Oh. The hell is this? A UMP with a up top. MP5 with a with a sight? Nice. Let's go. My favorite episode so far. I, I just the whole vibe of it has been really good. Well, except the one we went back in time in New Jersey, back when Max Payne was drinking in the bar and it killed the boss man's son. That mission was also really good. It gave you a really uh, New York-like New Jersey I don't feel. Know what I expected to find, which is always I'm nice. Full of drunks and bullshit artists. I'd been the cabaret act. Shooting whatever came in front of me was easier than coming to terms with that reality. Hell yeah. But yeah, this dude really, he had to come with us because if not, he would have probably, I don't know, Max Payne would have suspected something. Yo, what? <laughs> what the fuck? This game is crazy. <laughs> what? Oh, I got the deagle on me. Let's go. Okay, where are we at? Look at this dude just hanging there. <laughs> How's it hanging there, pal? Oh, I like this desert eagle. Is that what we have here? I think it is a deagle. 
Oh, I like it. Feels nice. Okay, I don't see why I got some painkillers around here. Here we My go. Own private welcoming party. Right, where is it through? Through here? Or through here? Where the hell? I needed something to help me adjust to being back on land. All right, let's go. What if even though they killed Marcelo, he was in on his brother's killing? What if, if it was both of the brothers? I mean, I had a feeling he had something to do with it. I thought he was the main one and then after he went to Brazil to rescue the girl, I, I thought he wasn't. But now seeing the way he's been acting, I, I actually think that he probably was in on it. But maybe he went back there because he was in love with his brother's wife or some shit. I, I don't know. Let's see. I like this right here. You can decide if you want to shoot him when you hit them with the melee. Questions. All I thought about was getting to Daphne Bernstein before it was too late. Jesus wow. Christ. Things would be like this. Wait, what? I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York. think you were really doing in Panama I was drinking people died innocent people who do you think robbed you I don't know I was told it was people who disliked Daphne Bernstein something about an unpleasant divorce her ex-husband worked on Wall Street do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads guess I didn't really think about it you were smuggling something weren't you no 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 I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes, Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what. I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly banker there in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to launder. But I thought the Broncos were rich. How'd he go rich? The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. What about Marcelo? Marcelo. Marcelo was an idiot. Were this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. Failed in America. Failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. 
Probably not a bad guy. Wow. Just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. The American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. <clears throat> okay, let's take a drive, Max. You wanna do some good, hmm? You wanna get yourself killed in a good cause? Then I need you to check something out for me. Like what? That incident at the favela today. Now, some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Casa Preto? Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max, you see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel. Yeah, that's what it says. People go in there, in large groups, under armed guard. But it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant? I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> so you keep saying. <clears throat> Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. Bro, this is getting good. This game is getting really good. I wasn't too excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. Oh, shit. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. Oh, it was the shit. question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. Damn. Poor guy, man. Wow, bro. I wish we could kind of open that furnace and see what's inside. I mean, we know what's inside, but... You can't unsee something, but you can dull the effect. I feel bad for him, dude. It's like shit. He already has a traumatic past. Now they're using him, trying the to frame Imperial him. The Palace Hotel was a five-star bona fide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the busload and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs. See what I mean though? Like, what's the purpose of having a suppressor? Kidding me? Uh, 
Gotta aim for the head with these guys. Mr. Max Payne. 1,000 kills already. <laughs> I love that melee shit. You melee them and then like if you don't want to keep shooting them, you don't. But if you press the trigger, just praise them. Feels really cool. Hard to, hard to explain it, but feels really cool. Find a way upstairs. Surely nobody would notice another hole in the wall. Oh, I was supposed to do that. Holy shoot. I actually didn't even think about that at all. I just thought it was... I knew this thing was bigger than me. Bigger than the Broncos. But I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in a mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees. A bad caricature of a better man. Oh, what the freaking hell? Oh, I don't have that. I want that golden RPG. I want the RPG itself. Fuck it. Ufe. That deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of prey, though. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get. Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic, a man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Wow! Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. Bro, this game has gotten really good. I had no I don't, choice but to push on. Out of nowhere. I didn't understand everything, and I never would. But I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution. I see now why a lot of you enjoyed this game. Bullets. <laughs> no more bullets. Run. 
on, Max! I don't know what just happened. I, I, I don't know what just happened. Out of nowhere, I have bullets. All right, let me pick up this MP5 here. Nice. Oh, let me pop a pill, man. I'm about to die here. Oh, shoot. back here I get some ammo Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too Holy far shit. now. Yeah, I would have turned back around and said, fuck this. Mm -mm. I mean, I guess the man has nothing to lose. Probably wants to die anyways. Who knows? <sighs> what the hell is that? Fuck is going on here? How, how much do you want? What have you been doing? I am a doctor. I help people. What have you been doing here? It's easy for you. Listen, I know people. They will kill you. I can help you. Trust me. Please, please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look. Lots of money. I do important research, please. Caralho! Caralho! Espera, espera. Eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho! Não, não. Por favor. Pelo amor de Deus. Por favor, não me mata. Não, não. Pelo amor de Deus. <laughs> For all Serrano owed me, he'd paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Wow. Those were all his people, probably. That doctor was butchering. Even I could guess what Demolisao meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. Oh, well, you can shoot that in it all. It was locked from the outside. Oh, that's a lot of guns. They had a fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground. So I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. We're gonna blow up the pillars. And we got painkillers too, Max. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Evidence for De Silva. Hell yeah. Uh, how do we? How do we get out of here? 
Oh, we just got to plan it on each one of them. Okay. Now that's two. There's another one over there. And four. I'd seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then through the form, more of the rats came out of their holes. Yo, I cannot shoot that shit. If I shoot the C4s, we're done. Perfect. At least my visitors have been kind enough to leave the gate open. Alright, so now we've got... Uh, where's the other pillar? Those one, two... Three over here. Alright, hold on. There was one that we didn't put... Is it this one? Bro, I was almost certain there was it one was more. It was time to see what VIP treatment awaited me on the penthouse floor. All right, I guess not. Never mind. Get out of here. I'd bought had been going real cheap. If I was gonna plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now. All right, let's plant the rest. All right, so that's the first pillar. Should be the last one. That was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building and all the evil in it. Vai, vai, rápido, rápido, vai. Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Want to be a hero? 
I got nothing to lose. Let's do it. Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senhor Neves. What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem. My problem. Want to know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue. That's what my fucking problem is. I don't know what you're talking about, American. All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything! We have the record! Oh, so people can sell their livers? Their hearts? Their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck! We kept people safe in the city! Decent people! Safe! I know a lot of powerful people. Well, your powerful people aren't gonna help you out of this one, buddy. Oh, he's fucking crazy. He's willing to die. He's willing to die. That's what it is. Painkiller. I'm doing pretty shitty. There we go. Thank you. Oh, this is getting me dizzy. <laughs> God is shaking all over the place. Oh. Play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and brother's hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get into losing the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. This thing works. 
Oh my god. 